Welcome back. Moving forward, a very important lesson all about subnets. In this lesson, I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to go about calculating your subnet masks, for example, or various subnets within your network. And it's simply a logical order and the division that you do for your own network. So the basic definition of a subnet is simply a logical subdivision of an IP-based network. So the practice of dividing a network into two or more networks is called subnetting. You may ask, why should I do this? Simple answer is, for example, let's say you have or you work for a company which has different departments, such as sales department, marketing department, operations, and so on. So each of those departments can, in fact, be on their own subnet. So that's a good example of why we actually subnet. It's easier to manage, identify, take a look at where the problem arose from, which department, computer is not working, and so on. So computers that belong to a subnet are addressed with a common, identical, most significant bit group in their IP addresses. So just by taking a look at the IP address, you would know as the administrator, for example, that this IP address is coming from the sales department, one of the computers within the sales department. So let's walk through an illustration. For example, you're the administrator and you have the IP address 192.168.1, which is a class C IP address, if you recall from the previous lessons. And then I have the forward slash 24 network. The suffix 24, pronounced as slash 24 commonly, simply tells the number of bits used for network address. So in this example that we're going to take a look at, the admin has three different departments with different number of hosts. Sales department has 100 computers. The purchase department has 50 computers. The accounts department has 25 computers. And the management department, for instance, has only five computers. So we are going to divide our IP address 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which tells us the number of bits used for the network address into each of these departments, right? So sales 100, purchase 50, accounts 25, and management has five computers. Here's step one. First step is to make a list of subnets possible. So the given subnet mask starting from 255, 255, 2550, and the notation of course is slash 24. That's where we started from. The hosts or the subnet can be 254, the number of hosts. Similarly, we are going to go ahead and also create 255, 255, 255, 128. In other words, just barring bits. Now the slash is 24 and the possible hosts are 126, for example, on that network or subnet. And likewise, we continue on just simply barring one bit from slash 24 to 25 to 26, 27 and so on. So that's the first step. You make a list of subnets possible. In step two, we simply sort the requirements of the IP addresses in descending order, highest to lowest. Which department has the highest number of computers? Sales, 100. Next is purchase department, which has 50 computers. Accounts has 25 and management has five. So just create a simple descending order list. Step three is allocate the highest range of IPs to the highest requirement. So sales has 100 computers, you want to be able to allocate the highest requirement, right? So let's assign 192.168.1.0 slash 25 to the sales department. This IP subnet with network number 192.168.1.0 has 126 valid host IP addresses, which primarily satisfies our requirement of the sales department because sales department has how many computers or users only a hundred the subnet mask used for this particular department this sales department has 
one and then of course three and six seven zeros as the last octet based on the bits step four is simply allocating the next highest range right so once you're done with the sales department the next department is purchase department which has about 50 computers we will allocate the next set of IP address to the purchase department so this IP address with the network number 192.168.1.128 has 62 valid host IP addresses which can easily be assigned to all of the computers in the purchase department and of course the subnet mask used is 11 and then seven zeros you're just borrowing a bit so you just move a bit order in the last octet next is step five we continue on with the next department which is accounts same process this is the same exact process all you're doing is just the last octet of the subnet mask is now borrowing another bit which is one 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 and then five zeros right so you can see how we move forward from one department in descending order we had sales, we had purchase, and now we're in accounts. So accounts has, for instance, 30 valid host IP, which satisfies the requirement. And similarly, step six, allocate the next highest range to management, which is our last department, and it only contains five computers. So the subnet mask with the slash 29 with a mask of 255, 255, 255, and 248, has exactly six valid host IP addresses. So this can easily be assigned to the management department. Once we're done with the subnetting and actually assigning IP addresses in the subnet mask to various department, before I end this lesson, just a brief note on what a private IP addresses are. So keep in mind that every class of IP, which is whether a class A, B, or C, has some addresses reserved as private IP addresses. And these IPs can be used within a network, campus, organization, company, and are private to it. So the public, which is the internet, for example, has nothing to do with this. So these addresses cannot be routed on the internet. So packets, right, data, containing these private addresses are dropped by the routers. So a router is simply a physical device that checks to see where to send the data, right? where to send the next signal. So the router sees the IP address coming from the sales department, for example, and recognizes that this IP address belongs to a private organization. Hence, it cannot be distributed out publicly on the internet, for example. I'm also going to show you a quick demo. So you can manually calculate all these subnets, but online there are several calculators hundreds of calculators that you can simply go out there, specify the IP address, slash 24, 25, or whichever satisfies your requirement, and it will calculate the subnets for you. It's just that easy. But I wanted to explain to you how to do this manually and how to borrow the bit order. So let's go ahead. Let me go online and open up my browser so I can demonstrate by using a subnet calculator. I've come across this wonderful site. I've placed the URL. Simply take a look at this. It's a very easy to use calculator and you'll have fun with it. So let's move to our browser. So once I'm on this URL that you saw earlier, this will bring you to the IP subnet calculator. And this is simply a straightforward and faster IP subnet calculator, which provides a complete list of information concerning an IP address and the subnet mask including the network and host address sizes. So all I have to do is just go to the IP address field and enter the IP address and subnet mask. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click calculate. So let's go ahead and use 192.168.0, let's say dot one. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255 and let's say zero click calculate and instantly it calculates the start host address which is 192.168.0.1 and then of course the end host which is dot two five four so the possible and maximum number of hosts on this particular IP with the subnet mask 
is 254 computers. My network address is as follows. And then of course, I also have my broadcast address. Also shows me the class automatically, which is a class C. The network address size is slash 24 bits recall. We just talked about that. And then of course, the host address size is eight bits. So a simple example of a class C standard IP address with a subnet mask. Of course, if I were to change this to a different IP address, let's say a class A, so I can do something like 10.0.0.1, for example, and then specify the subnet mask to be 255.0.0.0, calculate, and automatically shows me that the maximum number of hosts that I can have within the class A are humongous, 16 million, right? So it's a large class A network class with the network address size of 8 bits and host address size of 24 bits. So practice with this. The more you practice, the easier it'll become for you in understanding what a subnet is, how do you actually go about calculating your subnets and logically dividing your network. So practice and let's move to the next lesson.